was a dream year for the North Hunter Alliance. They finished 15-5 and five in a three-way tie for first in the Skyland Conference Raritan Division. They also achieved championship success, both in the team winning the Group 4 title and individual Logan Wadle winning the 106 championship, their first individual title in 20 years. The offseason hit the team hard as numerous contributors left the graduation and their head coach resigned. New head coach Dave Bell, formerly of Bergen Catholic, thinks this year's squad has a chance to surprise a lot of people and exceed the expectations put upon them by others. Yeah, I think expectations weren't so high coming in. That's what I was told coming in. But um, I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. I think the way, you know, again, the effort they put in over the summer, and you know, balancing what we have, we have a lot of really good freshmen that have come through the junior program. And as you said, there's a lot of strength. There's about 160 wrestlers in the junior program. So now it's just kind of, um, you know, we have great interest. We have Todd Preston, uh, <coughs> Andrew Gappas is back, Darren Shulman. Um, we have some great volunteers, Malcolm Robinson, Steve Barkman, Ricky Frondorf. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's a great wrestling community that is really interested in like, building this program into not just a state power, but potential national power. One of the wrestlers who's been taking charge in the room is Brian Wilson. The senior who finished last year with 22 wins has been working to blend the style of his previous coach with his new one. He thinks that's the key to success for this year's squad. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm kind of going off what Coach Bell is. I'm, into, I'm implementing a lot of what Harunka had with us. Cause it's a little different with Bell, and Harunka was a lot more like physical based, like more high paced, high volume practices. And Bell is still like that. It's a little, little like, I guess, toned down from Harunka. So I'm trying to keep that going, you know, like getting loud, being a voice in the room. Um, I'm a big believer in leaders lead by example. So I try and give off a good, Hard work ethic, it's right to the younger guys. I think this is going to be a transitional year for North Huntington. While I don't think they're going to bottom out, the loss of great wrestlers like Logan Wado and others is going to hurt, and it's not easy to replace those type of guys who came through and were four-year starters for the squad. However, I think they'll be able to maintain and be competitive in a lot of their matches. I see a bright future for this squad when they get some seasoning under some of these young freshmen and sophomores who are looking to just break into the lineup and make a name for themselves. Coach Bell is the right man to take over this job, and I think he's going to do great things with this team. Just might not be this year. I look for them to finish closer to 500, still be very competitive in North 2 Group 4, but in a brutal Skylands Conference Delaware division. I look for them to finish sixth. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.